Okay, so I thought I'd document my experiment with working with this material. I've never worked with it before. Uh, this is, I'm not sure of the weight to be honest, um, but it's only a double ply. It's not a triple or a quad. So the plan is to wet this out, uh, mop up any excess resin with some paper towel, apply it to a veneer skin, which I've just given a sand with 240 just to clean it up. This is a reject tip panel foam core. And uh, press it all together, just under some weights rather than in a press, but just to, just to go through the process and my concern is that when I go to transfer this onto this and then peel away the transfer film that the carbon layers because they're wet and then going to separate and leave me in a mess so let's let's see what happens okay so I've wet the uh, wet the carbon out with epoxy and uh, I've gone over with some paper towel and taken out the excess. <clears throat> so it's, mm, I wouldn't say it was bone dry, but it's relatively dry. And now for the moment of truth, let's see how this stuff will transfer. seeing at the same time as me I'll just use this here actually I'll go the top layer is oriented this way so that way is a definite no-no oh, look at that a little bit of separation there Okay, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Let's try and put something behind it that's white. You can see there's just a couple of tiny fibres there that came with the transfer, but the majority of it stayed on, which is not bad. Okay. So this will just go into a press. I've got a, an old uh, winch battery over there that, that I'll put on top of this while, while it cures. Who remembers winches? I remember winches back in the oldie day. Um, jacket. All right, well, I'll leave it there and I'll, um, I'll come back with a result once it's cured. Okay, so uh, test pieces out of the, out of the press, out of the press, um, and I've just trimmed the trailing edge here because, because you can see the trailing edge was longer. And uh, this we're going to try. Well, this will see how well it's uh, stuck. The primary reason for using the carbon or, or any composite underneath the veneer is to stop the veneer from splitting. So this is the off cut of the trailing edge. The fibers plus or minus 45 and, and I you know I I can't rip it as opposed to the, the straight veneer which was just just horrible. So that would burst. Under, under high G or under any, any sort of G load, but that I can't rip. I was very surprised at how, how um, even just having one skin on there, how stiff it's made the foam core. Very impressive. Anyway, let's see how this thing goes as far as adhesion. I'll start here. Mm, 
that's what you want to see. Could be better. A bit dry there. But essentially, maybe even a, a, uh, a rolled layer of um, epoxy onto the foam would help that. The material is probably just a little bit dry. But I mean, the bond is, is only as good as the foam beside the join. So if, if that's being left behind here, that's a good sign. But yeah, it's just a bit dry there. So that's probably what I'll do. Maybe just get a, get a foam roller and you just add some a very, very light amount of epoxy to the core before I press it. But... Um, I think that overall that was a worthy, a worthwhile experiment.